So today we're going to talk about this article that came up on the Reuters news service from July 15, 2013. The headline is, Scientists Find How the Obesity Gene Makes People Fat. And it's a little bit of a simple title, but the, the underlying um, information is really quite worth noting. So the research comes out of University College of London, and it was published in the Journal of Clinical Investigation here this past week. And what the researchers found is that there's a variation on a genetic, uh, a gene variation called the FTO gene. The FTO gene has been implicated in the disease of obesity, so we kind of have known that. The other thing we've known is uh, there's a hormone called ghrelin. It's called growth hormone releasing factor. And in some of these other um, blogs, uh, I've talked about that before, and we talk about it at support group uh, quite a bit in terms of the mechanisms of bariatric surgery. So what's all this have to do with bariatric surgery? So we know that one of the um, biggest sources of ghrelin in the body has to, has to come from the stomach. And so in the procedure called the vertical C gastrectomy, we remove a lot of the stomach that produces the ghrelin. So that's one mechanism of how it works. In the gastric bypass, the stomach doesn't see the food anymore, so that alters the ghrelin response. Now it's, of course, not that simple, but it's an easy way of thinking about it. So that's part of the reason why bariatric surgery works, is the effect on ghrelin. Now, of course, the disease itself is not that simple as well, so there still is the effect of the type of foods that we eat and the, the effect of the gut flora, the good bacteria that we've talked about before. Stress and the hormones of stress that absolutely derange the energy storage mechanisms in the body, as well as um, you know, food choices and the willpower part and who you hang out with, what you, what you eat and how you cook it. So all those things combine. So, latest thing, obesity gene, ghrelin, Journal of Clinical Investigation, University College of London, adding to more information to the pieces of the puzzle of the disease of obesity. I'm Dr. Robert Woodbury from Healthy Steps. Have a good day.